Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where we will show you how to perform an optimization for a steel structure in STAD Pro Connect Edition using the Eurocode EN 1993. We are at the point in our workflow where we're ready to add our optimization commands. To start this process, we'll go to the Steel Design dialog and then click on the Commands button. Now for this particular model, we're going to be using two different optimization commands. We're going to use our select command and our group command. We will start with the select command. Now this command instructs STAD Pro to select alternate or optimized member sizes based on any design parameter restrictions and the specified steel design code. The selection is done using the results from the most recent analysis and iterating on sections until at least weight size is obtained. In a member selection, STAD Pro will find the lightest acceptable section while incorporating any specified constraints. Additionally, STAD Pro only considers sections that have the same cross-sectional shape as the initial member. For example, if a member is initially specified as an angle using the European steel table, then only other angle shapes from that same database are considered when the selection routine is performed. We're now going to add this command to the input file by clicking on the Add button. In addition to the select command, we're also going to use the group command. Now the group command enables STAD Pro to group specified members together for analysis based on their largest property specification. To add the group command to your input file, you're going to select your property specification. We're going to optimize based on the area. And then we'll go ahead and click the add button three times for now. Let's go ahead and click the close button and see what our command structure looks like so far. So we can see our select parameter that we created, and then we have three group parameters. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to assign the select command to all of the IPE, the tube, and the angle sections in our model. So I'm going to highlight this command, go to the select by property name option, and then select all of the members that will be included in the optimization. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and say assign to selected beams, and then we'll click the assign button. So now we have instructed STAD Pro to perform an optimization on the currently selected members. In addition to the optimization, we're also going to ask the program to group our members. Now the group command is an optional command, and it can be used to instruct STAD Pro that you want the same section prior property assigned to different members within the model. Now, for any members, like say for example my columns, if I want the same column size throughout my model, I can use the group command to control that. I'm also going to use the group command though to control any girders or the size of any members that have been segmented into individual analytical members through the modeling process. For example, here I have a column section, and I'm assuming that the column is going to be the same size from the base of the column all the way up to the roof. Now, if I didn't assign the group command to this particular column, it is possible for STAD Pro to come up with an optimized section size for the lower segment of the column and the upper segment of the column. Now, this isn't how I'm planning on constructing this steel structure, so I can use the group command to ensure that the sizes of these members come up the same. So let's go ahead and assign the group command. Now for this model, I'm going to assume all of my girders on my floor level should be assigned the same size. And just like with my column example, these members have been segmented to satisfy my modeling requirements in STAD Pro. So I'm going to highlight this group command. And let's go ahead and select by group. And I'm going to assign this to my floor girders. I'm going to assume these members are spanning from end to end, so the same size should be assigned for the entire length. Let's go to my next group command. Now I have some girders up on the roof level for this structure as well. And just like in the lower level, these members have been segmented in STAD Pro. So I'm going to assign the group command at the upper roof level. 
And finally, for my columns, I'm also going to ensure that all my columns are assigned the same size. Now before we go ahead and perform the design or optimization on this model, we're first going to take a look at the order of commands in our STAD Pro input file to understand the process that STAD Pro is going to follow for this optimization. If I scroll up a little bit, I'm going to find my analysis command. Now for this model, I happen to be performing a P delta analysis that includes the effects of P large delta and P small delta. After we perform the analysis, we're going to assign all of our design parameters, our design code, and then finally we're going to add our optimization parameters through the, our optimization commands through the select and the group commands that we added. Now the select command will instruct STAD Pro to determine what the optimized size for each member or group of members should be, and this optimization is based on the results of this analysis that was performed. Now the select command does not instruct the program to reanalyze the model considering the new optimized section sizes. To maintain compatibility of the analysis results with the final member sizes, we're going to add another perform analysis command after the optimization occur occurs. Otherwise, the PROS processor will display the prior results with the revised member sizes. So let's go ahead and add in another analysis command. So we'll return to the analysis page in the workflow page control area and we're going to go to our analysis commands and we're going to add the same analysis command that we've been using throughout this STAD Pro model. Now after we perform a new analysis we're also going to perform a code check. What this code check will do is it'll check the results of the new analysis, which contain the distribution of forces based on the new optimized section sizes. And we need to make sure that those optimized section sizes are still compatible with the forces that are applied to them. Now, before we add in that code check command, let's also add in a new ratio parameter. For the final code check, I'm willing to let the ratio parameter go up to its default of 1.0. But in order for the program to consider that, I need to add that back in. So let's go to the design page in the workflow page control area. We're going to go to the define parameters and let's go ahead and add this ratio option. Go ahead and click the add button and then click close. And then we're going to assign this ratio parameter to the members of our model that we're performing in optimization on. Now let's go ahead and finish this off with a code check command. We'll go ahead and click assign since all of our members are already selected and then we'll click close. Now that we've finished this process, let's go ahead and just one last time take a look at our command structure to lead to a successful optimization in STAD Pro. We are going to start with our initial analysis command. So you're going to use one of the perform analysis commands to instruct STAD Pro to calculate the loads and member forces. This command will use the initial section sizes in the calculation. Then we are going to perform the optimization using the select command to instruct STAD Pro to, mop, to optimize each member based on the member forces that were distributed through the initial analysis. Now we also added for this particular model some group commands to affect the optimization. Now the group command instructs STAD Pro to group the specified members together for analysis based on their largest property specification. After that we're going to reperform the analysis. Using one of the perform analysis commands we're going to instruct STAD Pro to calculate the loads and member forces. This command will use the optimized section sizes in this calculation. And then finally, we're going to perform a code check on the model. 
This command instructs STAD Pro to check whether the optimized section properties are adequate when using the results of the latest analysis that was performed. At this point in our workflow, we're ready to perform the optimization and review the results. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.